All right, thanks, Miriam. September is pretty sweet. Did you know it's National Honey Month? But what's not so sweet is where you find honeybees. Uh, typically coming at you as a person or maybe in your house. So this morning we've got you covered with all things bee. We've got Trevor Tallman with Truly Nolan here to talk about buzzing off the bees, <laughs> not us, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Good yeah. morning. Morning, how are you? You brought your imaginary friend with you, I see. You I know? did. A little protector. <laughs> a little I, beekeeper. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, when you think of bees, obviously, I think most people, the first thing they think of is being stung and, you know, dealing with them just when you're outdoors. So, mm -hmm. You're the expert here. Do you have any tips for us when it comes to dealing with maybe preventing being stung or what to do if you are? Yeah, if you're around bees, um, they might be swarming around you. Don't swat at them. Okay. It agitates them. It's just kind of like if someone was swinging at you or right. swatting at you, um, they'll come towards you. So just, you could just walk by them, don't pay them no mind, and they will pretty much not bother you. Which is hard to do because I think your initial reaction is to, you know, oh, get yeah. away, get away. Yeah, get them out of your, your right. personal space and just, don't do that. Just walk by them. They won't bother you. They're concentrated more on pollinating. Okay. And so if you do get stung, which, you know, most of us have at some point been stung in our life, any tips on that, like to ease the pain or how to deal with it? Take like um, a Windex product. They, mm -hmm. There's some ammonia in that. That'll take out the uh, stinging. Cool. Just rub it on and, you know, it, maybe five, ten minutes. Stings should go away, and you can always pull the stinger out, and that always helps. Okay. And, I mean, obviously, if you're allergic, you need to take further steps, but this is just for the mm -hmm. average person who... It stings a little bit. Uh, something, you know, you might not realize, but, you know, we see it here in the news industry a lot. Full entire walls, they build honeycombs. Is there something to look out for to kind of um, know whether this is going on in your house? And do you really, do you see this a lot? We don't see it so much that it's on the inside of houses. Mm -hmm. We see it more on the uh, outside of soffits, uh, electrical boxes. So you'll see swarms just landing on the house and starting to do what they're, they're going to start that hive. So when you, you see that, you want to call your uh, exterminator, sure. Pat, Truly Nolan. We come out, we'll do an inspection, uh, we'll remove those bees for you. And those, typically the ones that are, you know, building the colonies or whatever you want to call them on the home, they're, they're honeybees, right? They are honeybees. They're going to make a honeycomb in that wall void, in that soffit. Uh, we've taken big garbage bags full of honeycombs away. Oh my goodness. So yeah, they can set up shop and You'll, you'll hear them buzzing in the wall. Okay, so if you hear a buzzing at home right now and smell the sweet <laughs> smell of honey, maybe it's time to give them a call. So, it's, yeah. you know, it can happen to you. Like I said, we've seen it a lot, and we've got our beekeeper friend sitting here with us too. And just <laughs> so you know, truly Nolan can help you out if you ever have any bee issues. But we appreciate you protect, protecting us from uh, the stinging this morning. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's what truly Nolan's here to do is protect you. All so, right, well, we you. love that. Thanks so much, Trevor. All right. We'll see you in just a minute. It's 7.52 right now. We'll be right back after a quick break. Jamie's got a full check of your weather, and Miriam's got you covered on the roadways. Stick with us. We'll be right back.